Uh, hello and welcome to um, the kind of extension part of um, part two. Now someone actually highlighted to me um, in a comment which is a really fantastic comment uh, which was made and it was um, to do with um, this video okay and us basically writing um, this next line of code which I'll show you which the next line of code was um, was this this if statement okay now it was if a value is not equal to then there's the decimal um, the decimal and the value is not equal to then double dot um, then basically continue doing this now if you're in windows and you're running on um, WAMP and so on if you've got like um, pictures and so on there's normally like a, a, a thumbs dot de or a de a db and so on now if you're running on Linux you don't tend to have these problems okay but if I just show you for example this is where all the files um, were and what I've done is I've actually gone and made then a video underscore image underscore zero dot txt and then a thumbs dot db to kind of mimic um, that there being another file in that directory that's not a jpeg a, J, a jpeg or then a gif file or png etc we just want to know that it's an image file right we don't care that it's a dot or a double dot and so on we just want to explicitly say hey only show this image if it's um, an actual image file okay so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this one if statement here or we're going to remove the contents of this if statement okay so just so we've just got the um, the brackets and what we're going to do is we're going to make a regular expression okay and inside of this we're going to open up the double quotes okay if you're not familiar with regular expressions then type this exactly how I'm typing it right now okay so you want to then um, inside of here type preg match okay then open the brackets then close the brackets inside of here then open double quotes then open curly braces close curly braces open double quotes comma and then we want to say string so str and then to lower all right and then inside of here we're then going to say value all right so we should have string to lower inside this is what we should now have all right just in here that's what you've inserted inside of your if statement now with inside of the curly braces what we're going to do is we're just going to test for let me get rid of this rubbish we're just going to test for JPG and we're going to say the pipe, okay, then the, the vertical line, and then we're going to say JPEG because sometimes there's also it's formatted in that way. Then we're going to say um, GIF, then we're going to pipe again and we're going to say PNG. And then that should be it, unless I'm forgetting any other images, that should be fine. Okay, this is basically saying um, the reverse this time, all right only show this if it's one of these files okay and everything else you can just drop and forget about now as you can see here this is the updated version of all the files inside of the gallery and you can see that I've got this txt file now without me saving uh, this one file okay I'll show you what we get <laughs> we we um, we refresh this and as you can see the first one um, in the list is then our uh, thumbs.db which is not going to show because it's not an image the second one is then video underscore uh, image underscore zero dot txt once again that's not going to display so it's not helping matters is it at all so now let's save this one index.php come back to our uh, gallery refresh it now warranted you're not going to see much further at the moment because this is on part two still um, so that's basically remedying um, this one issue all right so I'm going to leave it here just change that one sentence or the one if statement um, to this and continue on watching the rest of the video okay so okay that's what you want to insert into this if statement look at the comments okay if you're watching this now look at the comment below and you'll see the exact if statement which I've written in there and you will also see the comment from um, the the one of the other YouTube users okay which highlighted this one fact and I thank you very very much for making this um, comment because it's a very very intelligent comment and I really appreciate these comments as well okay good so uh, I'll let you continue on watching uh, then part three all right bye bye